There's nothing quite better than getting your brand new Peterbilt. Unless, of course, you're picking up eight new Peterbilts. Yes, that's right. My name's Mike. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'm going to do a quick walk around of Tiger Calcium's new tractors. New 567 heavy spec tractors. And even though these are fleet trucks, there is nothing fleet about them except for the fact that they take a lot of pride and have a lot of class and want their drivers to have the best. So check these out. We've got 567 setbacks, heavy specs. We've got um, LED headlights. Look at that, eh? Those actually look really, really cool. Now you can't see it because, well, it's Prince George in April. And it snowed in April. Supposed to get cars out next week. <laughs> It'll melt, I'm sure. Just give it a couple hours. Um, on the front fenders, we've actually got a rock guard that we put on, um, that way to protect the fenders. It's a nice look because it keeps the white color and if you get rocks and dings, the fender is totally protected. It's got mud flaps underneath the DPF box and the step box on both sides. Basically a classic old school look. Keeps the debris down. These trucks do go on a lot of gravel road. Penny light skirts. Oh, look at that. Just looks absolutely fantastic. <sighs> Nothing better. Nothing better. White. <laughs> I was just going to say, these are the OG white rubber mud flaps with red logo. Magnum half fenders with chain hangers. Chain hangers that can be lockable and latched. Stainless steel hubcaps, nut covers. Now these are heavy spec trucks. So they've got 46,000 pound rear diffs. We've got the, the insert over the suspension. Uh, 46,000 pound air track suspension. Um, we've got the Michelin Michelin XDS2 drive tires. Probably one of the best traction tires out there. Now I know that is debatable depending on uh, a person's preference, but I absolutely love those Michelin tires. Lots of frame access. Now these trucks will be getting an APU put on them and the APU will go right there so but look at that look at how how nice this is oh and this is a a nice feature now too we've got led rear sleeper lights now the only downside to these is we like to put red lights in there and because it looks pretty cool when you turn the red lights on and it goes on your trailer so now in order to change those i i actually haven't done it yet um i think a person's gonna have to undo the three screws pop the the clear led out the red on or you know what a guy could do could put a a colored wrap on here that would actually be not a bad idea and then it's still led but it's colored i don't know what do you guys think of that idea let me know down in the comments um we've got our beacon lights on the back of the sleeper um nice thing about this setup is you can see those beacon lights from behind you from in front of you basically all around you and that is something that is very important to be able to see um, to see your beacon lights from behind. They've got the new updated def tank on them. Look at this shine. I don't know if they did something different with the, the stainless steel cover on these new def tanks, but it looks absolutely amazing. And you know what? It's tight. A lot tighter than the old style. And look at the way it mounts. Very nice. I really like that. And look at how close it is to the fuel tank. Good job, Peterboat Motors. Awesome. And you know, that's that's the attention to detail that Peterboat has. You know, a lot of customers with the old def tank, we, we knew we could squeeze things up, but the way the tank was shaped, it could bulge out a little bit. So they had to leave a little more room in case the tank, you know, swelled or anything like that. Um, they heard our concerns wanting to shorten up on frame space. They moved the filler like, a lot of you have uh, have mentioned before, or I'm assuming a lot of you mentioned, because I know I mentioned it, and other customers says, why can't they move the filler neck up? So they did, but you know what? It keeps that classic old school round tank look. You know, a lot of 
a lot of other manufacturers will have the square tank and it's like yeah the square tank you know it might have more volume because it's square and it's not round and it's up in the front and it's in the same spot but that doesn't say truck to me well I mean unless you're unless you're in Australia or Europe where you have square tanks and then that does say truck because you have square tanks already but but here in North America we got round tanks and you know what Peterbilt Peterbilt's classic Peterbilt's old school Peterbilt's Peterbilt's North American trucking like when you think king of the road you think Peterbilt so round tanks I'm sorry I love my round tanks so do I love the round def tank you bet your butt I do I absolutely love that round def tank and this shine on this stainless steel I don't know if you can see it but it's like a mirror which is a little bit scary because it's like a mirror look at that I got a okay maybe it's like a circus mirror for me anyways um but anyways we've got the shore power in these so they've got the factory inverter um of note the shore power has a different plug now the different plug on our shore power is because it actually takes uh 30 amps of power and um we actually sell the plug here um they're easy to get well they're not that easy to get because you you know you got to go to the hardware store and make an extension cord um but the beauty of the shore power so you're driving this truck you know you're you're down for the weekend you've got a fridge full of food and uh you know you don't want your batteries to die you know what plug it in over the weekend it's going to charge your batteries it's going to keep your fridge cold if you've got a, a tv dvd vcr plugged into your inverter in the sleeper it's going to keep from losing your memory preset so and i've got the key in my pocket here so let me show you the inverter i've actually got two keys in my pockets one for each of the trucks so and of course i grabbed the wrong one first so this is a look inside the baggage car com compartment We've got our premium speaker sub box there. This will actually be coming out because when the um, when this truck gets its APUs, the, the APU is gonna go right here and they like to leave room. So the sub box unfortunately is gonna have to move. Um, but this here is your inverter. So it is a, a Xantrex, if that's the right word, uh, Freedom HF inverter. It's 1800 watts. It's got plugs on the backside and it's absolutely fantastic. It's protected. Um, and it's easy access if you have to service it. And what I like about having the inverter here in the baggage compartment from the factory is if you've got, um, well, if you have the need for, for anything 120 outside of your truck, you can plug an extension cord into here. You could actually have an extension cord plugged in and just set it off to the side. And then if you, you know, I don't know if you wanted to drill some holes or mount some lights or, you know, set up some patio lights, whatever you've got, you've got 12 volt sorry not 12 volt you've got 120 volt outside of your truck so great option absolutely love it of course we've got our engine and oil heater because well you know it's winter time six months of the year we don't get to drive cars for more than six months of the year but uh, anyways enough whining from me bug deflectors on these absolutely beautiful beautiful trucks michelin tires Cummins engines, 565, 2050 torque, B-train spec, four off-road. We've got the bright mirrors on it, seven inch mitered stacks. And just look at that. Gosh, love it. Absolutely love it. You know what? We got our Peterbilt logo, our air intakes, door-bounded mirrors, which interestingly enough, for uh, the next generation they're moving the mirrors back onto the cowl um, so they're coming off the door and they're going to be mounted right here i believe they're still going to have that shape um, now i got mixed emotions um, I, I i believe they went that way for aerodynamics i'm not 100 percent sure when i get a truck we'll talk about it we'll do a video on it um, the one thing that i do like about having the mirrors mounted there versus here is you can open your door and still look in your mirror or like back up with your door open a crack which okay i know we're not supposed to back up with our door open but i'm thinking about my logging customers because when you're 
logging you load your trailer on the back of your truck and at all the mills they have trailer loaders well when you pull ahead you hook up to your trailer and you back under it you quickly jump in your truck and you're backing up well you're it, it's a quick maneuver you know you're doing it in the span of about you know just a couple of minutes if that so you know you close your door if your door doesn't latch or you just close it but not 100 percent all the way you can still see in your mirror as you're backing up now i know a person should get in close the door put your seat belt on you know put your busy vest on put your hard hat on and then back up but you know what that is one area where it's nice to not have to close your door 100 percent to to see um where your mirror is pointed but you know what these have been an absolutely fantastic mirror zero options or pardon me, zero problems with them. And um, and I absolutely love the look. And they're tough as nails. So, and like I've shown in previous vlogs, I can hang off that mirror and I'm plus 200 pounds. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm not a skinny guy. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna uh, jump inside one of these. Let's take a look what they look like on the inside. Oh yeah. That's right. I've got a warning, high current draw from batteries because I turned all the lights on because you know what? I like lights. Um, how do I do this? I shouldn't be asking you guys that. There we go. Actually, maybe I'll start it up. There's an idea. Yeah. Now it is gonna ding because we do have low air pressure. This truck only has 53 kilometers on it. Yes, that's right. It was the piggyback. So that truck, all this truck. Sorry, thanks for the ride. Um, so here we've got our five, there we go, thank you. We've got our power mirrors. Now I can show you what it's like if I click on left. Right, and what I absolutely love about these mirrors, look at that, you can dial it right in so you could back up like right next to a curb or your wife's flower pot if you take the truck home and uh, no issues. Absolutely love these four-way power mirrors. Mirror heat, because of course it is winter and snowing. You can see the green lights on. That means your mirror heat is on. Power door locks. We do have the auto down window feature, which you know what? It's something that, uh, it's one of those little things from the automotive world that it isn't a big deal, but it kind of is. It's just like one of those really nice little features. So auto down, beep, gotta love it. Um, now these trucks do not have the smart nav. They've got, um, they've got the gauge package in them, which I absolutely love. Um, you know, like with this, we've got our trailer brake application, suspension load, oil temperature, manifold boost, brake application, um, trailer air. We've got our concert class Sirius XM radio. Um, of course, our climate controls, which are, um, uh, what's the right word for it? They are set to, um, I'm losing it today. Climate controls that you can set to the temperature and Peterbilt Smart Air will adjust to make sure when you want it 78 degrees, it stays 78 degrees. So. 78 degrees uh sleeper heater so if it's uh you got your sleeper your sleeper heater turned on or your air conditioner you just hit the button turns it on of course defrost engine fan that's your um your auto for your your auto temperature and of course we've got max ac which is recirculate but um our hand valve dash mounted now i don't like to bring them in with a spring because if you want to uh use your hand valve and you can hit it continue driving flick it off you don't need the spring engine brake on the column like I've talked about before I absolutely love this feature you know to be able to go along and just oh need a little bit of engine brake oh need a look oh I need a lot you know what it um, works great our um, cruise control radio buttons now an old-time logger that I sold a new 567 to he um, <laughs> You know, he mentioned to me how much he likes a smart wheel. He said he would have never ordered it if if he was ordering a truck. Um, but he bought a stock truck that had the platinum interior, it had the smart wheel. And he said to me, he's like, you know what? When I order my new one, because he's actually going to be, he bought a 567 back in 20, 2015. It's a 2016 model year. Um, so it's five years old. He's 65, 
little less than 65, you know, to, well, actually, no, he's 60. Anyways, it doesn't matter how old he is. He's in his 60s. He's an experienced, skilled, awesome guy. Um, so anyways, he's due for a new truck. Um, he's probably going to order it for this fall, which reminds me, I should call him because the order board is in this fall already. But anyways, he says, you know what? I have to have that smart wheel because when he's driving, he said, I use my cruise now with having the cruise on the steering wheel. He now uses it all the time, which he never did in his three series cab, because of course it's over here on the dash and you got to lean over and hit it. So he says, I love the cruise on the steering wheel. I need to have it. And the other thing he loves is having the mute on, on the steering wheel. Cause he, um, you know, when you're, when you're hauling logs or you were on a bush road, you need to, you need to call your miles. And lots of times guys will be listening to the radio. And then when you need to call, if you call your miles while your radio's going, the guys that are listening to the radio can't hear you very well because you got noise blaring in the background. So he's driving along, grabs his mic with my GoPro hand. And, um, and then he just reaches over, clicks mute, calls his miles, clicks mute again, his music's back on. And he doesn't have to take his hands off the wheel. And he said, you know what? It's just two little things that make life just a little, excuse me, a little bit better. So yeah, his new truck, it's gotta have a smart wheel. And just for the record, this is not like a Kenworth smart wheel. I've got a lot of customers that have had Kenworths and they hate their smart wheel, but that's a Kenworth smart wheel. It's not ours. We don't put our Jake switches on the steering wheel because that's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I've heard of guys going around a corner and because it's on your steering wheel, hitting the button, and then all of a sudden your Jake turns off or whatever and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, ours is not like brand K. So anyways, I mean, maybe it will be next year when, you know, when we have all the new, anyways, we won't go there. So look at this smart wheel and looking at these switches to be able to hit them while you're driving, like they're, they're flush, they're smooth. So great, great, great option. With this truck, we have the rubber floor option, which is great. You can keep it clean. You can put um, your mats down. We've got our thermos cup holder, which I absolutely love. And it's easy to clean. In the sleeper, we have our heater. Now here is your inverter power. And now it won't turn on because I, I'm actually, well, I've got the truck running, so. Um, we've got, look at that. I, you know, this is one of those things with Peterbilt that I just absolutely love. Like looking at this control panel, <clears throat> you know, to be able to drive one of these trucks and have all this room and comfort, yet still have a classic look. You know, it doesn't have this huge mass of space that looks like, um, looks like a, a, you know, just doesn't look like a truck. This still looks like a truck. Your sleeper is still removable. Your sleeper is still separate from the cab yet you've got all this room. You know, you've got this control panel. If you're done for the day, you know, you got some paperwork to do. You pull out your work tray or, you know, you got your microwave up here. You don't want to make some, I don't know, maybe you brought um, some goulash, some steak and eggs, or actually you probably wouldn't microwave steak and eggs, but um, say you wanted to make craft dinner. I, you know, I still like craft dinner. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Mac and cheese. I love your mac and cheese. So yeah, you can make some, um, heat up your dinner in there. You can sit here, you can eat your dinner. You got a cup holder, you know, you can stretch your legs out. You've got your power ports. You can charge your cell phone, your GoPro, your, um, um, laptop, iPad, whatever. You can control your radio from back here, which is great. Turn the lights on and off. You can lock your door. So if you're in bed and you're like, Oh, did I lock the door? You can hit the door lock button. You got your inverter to turn everything on. Nice cubby here for, for your special items that you want to keep close. And, and this is, I know you're thinking this is a platinum interior, but it's actually not. It's, um, it's the next step down. It's be like the premier interior. And the reason why we went with premier is because we put everything in it. That's in a platinum, but you know, we didn't need a smart nav. We didn't need, um, we didn't need a little bit of wood grain. We've got the chrome trim on the dash. Um, you know, we've got our fridge down here. So look at that. Absolutely great size. We've got our freezer and you know, that's one of those things. I absolutely love having a little freezer. I've seen other trucks that don't have freezers and you know what? I'm a little bit of a sucker for a freezer. 
Of course, we got our flat screen TV mount. Now this one is not like the Heritage. So if you remember my Heritage video, they had the indirect lighting, which was kind of cool. Um, but you know what? We don't really need to have cool all the time. Um, so yeah, we've got storage shelf up here. And if you can see it, I, my light went dead. So you probably, I don't know, yeah, you can't see it. Um, but up here is a plug-in. So we've got our, you've got your inverter, you've got your TV, you got plugins up there. So you can have your DVD player. Um, and you know what's really cool? One day you could have your Starlink internet hooked up up there. Cause uh, Elon Musk, you know what? Talking about Starlink for mobile applications. We actually got it at home cause we live rural. Absolutely awesome. But anyways, this is not a plug for, uh, for Tesla or Starlink, although I love having that internet so much. I'll plug it wherever I can if I can. So Starlink, if you wanna, if you wanna sponsor this or you know hit me up with some free dishes, I'll show them. Just saying. Um, <laughs> microwave shelf. Um, now this is great. It's got the strap. We've got our plug-in down here. Gosh, I wish I had a charge my battery. So what I really like about this shelf is it's a lot easier to get a microwave to fit here. Now you can get it with the cabinet. But the problem with the cabinet is you need to find a microwave that fits in the cabinet. Whereas here, it fits easy. Um, and you know what? If I was driving this truck, I would definitely have a microwave. Well, let's face it, I would have a microwave here because you know what? I love my KD. Um, great look, absolutely fantastic. We got our leather seats and um, we've got, uh, with this truck, we've got We've installed our overinflation valve so we can overinflate. Um, so our shop actually did the little label there. PTO switch because these will be getting wet kits. Auto suspension down, which is, you know, dump. Fifth wheel slide, inner axle lock, forward diff lock, rear diff lock, sleeper heaters, spare, spare light switch, and um, auxiliary light switch. So that will be for our chicken lights. Because you know what? Even though these are a fleet truck, we like our chicken lights in chrome. And their drivers like chicken lights in chrome. And you know what else this one has? We've got two sets of, I'm gonna turn the sleeper light back on. Um, and these are all LED too, by the way. Uh, we've got our sleeper curtains here tied back nice. And we've also got, I'll just show here, a track that goes all the way around. I'll put that there. All the way around for our window curtains. Now I haven't put the window curtains up but that is a fantastic option. And some salesmen have been known to forget it in the past. So if you're a Peterbilt salesman, don't forget your window curtains because customers absolutely love our window curtains. And um, you know, cause really, once you put the curtains around here, look at all the space you have. Like <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, if I was driving and I just wanted to chill for a little bit, like this is so incredibly comfortable, I could probably have a nap in this seat. And I mean, I don't know. I just, yeah, anyways, I love these trucks. I really do. <clears throat> Leather steering wheel, oh, you can't see that, but it says built with pride, get in Texas, go Texas. I absolutely love Texas and appreciate all the things that those guys do at the factory. Make dreams, dreams happen, I'm telling you. My dreams anyways, so I'm sure your dreams too. But uh, anyways, I turned the chicken lights on. Let's go out and take a take a look at what those lights look like. Because, yeah, I'm gonna shut the truck off though so you can hear me talk. Because, let's face it, you gotta hear me talk. You gotta hear. Oh, turn the key on. Now I'm gonna turn my auxiliary lights on. Now I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror. If I hit that, there we go. This is auxiliary lights. Yo, know, and that's something that's really fantastic with Peterbilt having the pre-wire option for um, auxiliary lights and because if you do have a light go out, um, you can just turn them off. Or if you're in a place where you wanna be a little bit more incognito, you can turn them off. But look at this, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. There's nothing better than a little bit of chicken lights and chrome. And right here, we've got our battery disconnect switch. So if you've got to work on the truck or if you're, you're doing something and you want to disconnect the batteries, you can flip that switch. You can lock it out if you want to lock it out. And 
it's totally cool, totally safe, everything like that. But um, yeah, this is it. What do you think, guys? They got the halos under the headlights. Oh. You know what? I'm going to turn the lights on on the other one because if there's anything I've learned, the only thing better than one Peterbilt is two Peterbilts. And the only thing better than two Peterbilts is two Peterbilts with chicken lights on. So I've turned the key on. I'll come over here, hit my auxiliary light switch. You'll see this truck is identical. We've left the plastic on the seats. Um, so that way the customer gets first dibs to sit on that seat and protect it from mechanics or anybody jumping in and out. But look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I need to turn the park lights on too. Because, you know, gotta have your park lights. Reach up here, park lights, bing. There we go. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I really, really like those halos under it. And you know what? So when you're when you're parked in a truck stop or you're parked in your sleeping spot, you know what? Your truck looks good going down the road. It just oozes pride and class. So anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peterbilt Mike signing out. Till next time. Peace.